Hello. Welcome to another uh, SR2B2O2BD Smart Relay Functional Block Diagram Programming Walkway Safety Interlock Cache 5. Yeah. <clears throat> so, a bit more progress. Let's just make sure we've Hello. got. Welcome to another. Right, so we're okay on that bit. Yeah, so we've um, got a bit more progress. So that's, uh, we've had introduced a few more things into the system. Uh, so I'm back on um, adding those. Um, we want to add a safe laser pad area. We had a safe area laser for the truck and the ped area or the forklift truck and the ped in one but i needed to know if there's um, anyone in this just a safe area for the ped area still so i need to know that while they're traversing through if it ever gets cancelled out anyway then there's a full back mode now uh, a lot of this, um, if you've been following along, a lot of it um, depends on other stuff working. Uh, basically, your forklift truck rapid roll door there. If that suddenly, it could be summer, they could, could be red hot, they want it open. So, or it could have been crashed through, it could be broke down, and... The barriers could be broke down or something. Uh, so you still need to get people across the road as safe as you can, even though the system isn't fully operational, rather than just switch it off and have nothing. So we're going to have a fallback mode on it, where basically this fallback mode here, on a key switch onto one of the spare inputs that... Uh, lets you operate the ped crossing on a timer basis right so it's on a timer basis so you press your button so you request a ped crossing and what happens is um it will go through the motions it won't wait for barriers to be shut it won't wait for the door to be down it'll just literally change the traffic light sequence over here ped gate fl tree truck light traffic light will go to red ped light will go to green it unlock the gate still um so it's still got gate control obviously if that fails then they will have to you know but they aren't mag lock so if they fail they just won't won't lock so yeah so it's not my idea of an uh, ideal, but they still need to get people in and out and trucks in and out if there's a failure of some sort. So, but if you do your weekly checks and you keep it well maintained, it will keep running. And you, that's why you do your weekly checks to see if there's any faults occurring. So the majority of the time you can have a safe traverse through the pedestrian area uh, safely. And if you have a problem with a door or a barrier, you can still traverse through a simple road crossing uh, with traffic lights and things like that. So it's not extra safe, but it's as probably as safe as crossing a pedestrian walkway in a in a high street. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so that's that. That fallback mode. We're going to introduce that, and then also. We've got to introduce a, a change of priority from forklift truck to pedestrian. So at the minute, by not connecting a switch, we are in forklift truck priority and you request a pedestrian crossing. And then, but if this was to be switched, because uh, there's some scenarios where we, we'll use this on different sites where they want the pedestrian to have the priority and the forklift truck will have to request instead. So it needs to be switchable. Now you might just have to rewire it in some fashion. But I've allowed for a switch just in case um, without analysing everything that's going on at once. And 
in the premise to swap over the system. It might just be a case of wiring it in a different way. Um, but that has its own issues. So you can see, um, you can see that's that's the three little problems that sound little. Uh, we've got a fourth problem. We have got one spare input left. We're not going to use at the minute. We've got a bigger problem as the screen real estate is pretty much taken up. So I can go lower. I can go. I can pull this down and go lower like that and get more screen real estate. Now that's okay. But the idea was to keep. I need to keep need to with with one eye open. Uh, glancing at this, I need to see all the indicate the sequence i need to see the sequence of events i've placed these uh indicator lamps on certain they're like flags to tell me what's going on now they are spread around a bit now what would be nice if i could see this in a line instead of having one there one there one down here because i've got to keep my eye watching it and if it's in a long row, and I can follow the sequence through, if you know what I mean, like a flow chart, I can follow the sequence through. At the minute, um, it's easy to miss something. If you, you've got to be looking all over the place, basically. And the resolution, as far as I know, there's no. They did a new revision of this software, but as far as I know, I'm just make sure we're still streaming. And everything is good. Let's hold on a second. Um, it's easy to miss something. If you, yeah, we're still okay. That's all right. Anyway, so we, we do. I like to keep it all on one screen, or it doesn't flow off. I don't want scrolling off the screen. You see. Now there might be some of this stuff that's inanimate that don't need to look at, like some of these all gates and things. Uh, but timers and flags and things we could do with seeing them. And the boolean. Um, sometimes it's nice to see which line is not coming in, but the boolean doesn't. If I click on that and go parameter, you can see that the parameter is there. That all conditions have to be met. They have to be a one. So we're switching. We're looking for that condition. But. Um, Without, you can't see it off the bat. You have to go into the setting, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know why they just couldn't put a default value here or the value is expected. Anyway, so this software, as it's, they've included some extra stuff on the last revision, but they haven't um, really done anything with the editor. So the editor's a bit, uh, how are you doing? Everything's a fixed size, as far as I know. Now, I think there was something in it to do, probably Zoom. You know, there's some kind of Zoom in it. Whether they've done anything to the Zoom, I don't think. They, I, I read the read, read me, and it didn't mention anything about the Zoom. Let's, let's zoom out and see what we can see. Let's go 75%. I'm hoping this revision has got some changes in it, because it, it was version 2.7. This one's moved on a bit. Let's try it. All right, so that's a bit better. Yeah, so I can still read that. Let's go a bit further. And see what they may they may have changed something. Let me try it. Sixty six. Ah, so the t yeah the stuff stay shrinking. The text is still saying visible. Let's go again. Maybe the problem is gone. Maybe they've sorted out fifty percent. Nice. Yeah, I can sit, can't hardly really see that now. And it's not good for you guys either. But anyway, let's go to. Right, that's not too good. Now, let's go. Sit. Maybe we could do 75%. Anyway, that's one way of doing it. And increasing, dragging this over to. The problem is if you. If you do want to go on a laptop, so you're not going to see anything, especially on site, you're going to be scrolling around all over the place trying to find. So go back to 100%. Now, there is another feature in here that you can do something like 
make a a macro, I think it was called. Uh, tools. Right, create a macro. Right. So you can select a few things like that. And you can go tools, create a macro. Now what it'll do is it'll try to replace that. Let's try it, but I'll have to undo it. Right. <clears throat> so macro identifier. It's put the device in question in there. Sort of. Oh yeah, only on one. Yeah, so you can basically have another window with um and call it a name and then get rid of some of the complexity off the screen but some of the stuff is flags that I need to see anyway so the whole idea of doing it in function block diagram is to see each screen all in one go see everything that's going on right anyway so that's the scope of the works um, let's um, Tell you what, let me just plug in something and get a. Uh, made the control panels up. Uh, I think we're gonna might have to leave them. I might show you. Tell you what, I'll show you on the phone. I'll show you on the phone. Right, let me show you on the phone. So, right, let's get that up. Right, right, okay. Here we go. Right, this, this is a te demo unit, test bed. That is just built up uh, a load of indicators and switches for testing the whole thing out physically. Oh, it's the next, it's better. The, you've got the uh, screen simulation in the software, then you've got the actual running system. And then the, the final one would be, um, the final one would be the actual physical thing on site. Okay, so there's that one, and here's a view of a, a wired panel. We've made three of these, so we've got a wired panel ready to, um, in an enclosure, ready for the PLC to go in. Yeah, now that's it, all the trunking and wired with ferrules and relays and everything else. Um, so that's three things. Three things we've mentioned we've got to do, and also I've got to redo the wiring diagram because um, we've. If I can find that, what did I do it in? Yeah. Anyway, uh, we've got a wiring diagram that I did. Don't know if I photographed that. Did I photograph that? Let me just. I think I did. Hang on. Did I photograph the wiring diagram? You know, I thought I did. It's not there though. Maybe I did earlier. Yeah. Anyway, it's out of date, so I've got to go through and change all the colours. That's why I photographed the pad to, to and I got just some laminated sheets to go in there with the wiring diagram with all the colour code and everything, the fuse sizes and all the rest of it. Anyway. All right, at the minute, um, do I do update the wiring diagram first? The colours, no, not on screen. Anyway, so um, what have we got there? Oh, I was just showing that. Okay. Anyway, let's get back over to this one. So you can see we've got a bit of um, bit of an issue, bit of a problem, sort of. So. Luckily, the, the test, if you, if you want to see that this working or partially, you'll go back and see version number three. Oh, number four, sorry. Ash four. And then the, in there, there's uh, operate, operating that demo unit or so that test, test bed. All right. So let's see if we can break this down into a simpler part. So this, this mainly is working. And uh, you can never fully test it until you test it on a on a real situation. But uh, you know you've got timers to adjust and all sorts. So, right. 
So the first thing is to do this. Yeah, it was on about an overriding key switch to an overriding key switch. I've just got to have a pill actually. Sorry. Oh, it's had me lunch and I'm going to have a pill. Right. Anyway. So we were going to have an overriding key switch um, or a bush button to get out of a pedestrian area if we ever got trapped. Uh, so. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. Hmm. What's that for? I don't know. Anyway, so I got to think. We want to just do the base, do the basics without affecting too much. We've got part, we've got a working system apart from the override. So we're going to, need to do four back mode, but we need to take into account the pedestrian area. So we're going to have a pedestrian area. So what we need to do at the minute, we're simulating. We'll have to do a simulation here. Let's go back and do a simulation and run it. Right, so we're going to um, switch on. I'll put everything into normal operation. Now this should go into forklift truck mode. Uh, that's going to open and it should switch to FLT now. Yeah. So an FLT mode, <clears throat> and then somebody would request, pedestrian would request across. Okay. So I can do that now. Going to get a request across. It's going to shut off the other modes, switch the barriers off. Barriers will close in due course, and then we'll switch to green, and then the gates would unlock, and forklift truck traffic light be on red, pedestrian traffic light be on green, pedestrian sequence is active, and they'd walk across the road, they'd open the gate, and uh, walk into this safe area. Now that at the minute is the pedestrian safe area but we're going to have a dedicated safe area for just um the pedestrian it's off a laser scanner with dual outputs we're gonna switch the use the output two which is default safety but output one we're going to use this defaults to an open command or open signal we're going to change that to safety as well and <clears throat> so we'll have one area that covers underneath the barrier well from the barrier corner all the way across the road crossing all the way up to the shutter door now the time is kicked in here switched it back to flt mode oh or oh, did it no i don't think it did Anyway, we'll go back to that sequence in a bit. So where was I? Yeah. So the um, the laser will look uh, up nine and a half meters from the barrier all the way to the door, and across the road. I think that's about eight or nine meters as well. And then um, we have a second zone that just does the paired area, the safe air laser paired area. That covers the road crossing width and and the the depth. So while we're in ped sequence mode and we're going through, now the idea is let's just see where we are at the minute. We're in a no man's land. Uh, so FLT sequence is active. It's cancelled out. It's we need to. Oh yeah, we need to cross. Oh, we're not on. Right. The reason that's not on green is because we've given a barrier open command two barriers an open command and we haven't opened them so we need to open them and that will time out and go to green yeah 
So um, the forklift truck can traverse through the safe area loop and the laser and the door. And when they're back to normal, and we'll give it a request to pass. That's going to carry on. It's going to switch off. These are going to close. Now the pedestrian, the maglock is still closed. So the maglock is unlocked, switched over, and it waits for a person to go through. Doesn't matter which way they go through, up or down or through, left or right, doesn't matter. Uh, as long as they break this area, which they will do as soon as they walk through a gate, if you've got a laser set right. Okay, and and as they're going through, they set, they're still in the safe area. Now, if uh, they're walking across, both gates are shut. If somebody was to barge the or open the lift forklift truck door by uh, the control panel, or somehow lift it up physically or if uh yeah so this is where it gets complicated at the minute in this mode fallback mode is off so it's just the full safety mode um while this is in that mode um if somebody they're walking across they haven't yet come through the other gate uh we've timed out yeah there is a timeout Now uh, it's timed out and it cancelled it off. So these will then shut, which they have done. And it's waiting for the safe area to be left. So it has timed it out. I think it, I saw some at counting. I thought it was this counting down. I'll have to try that again. So let's, um, now the pedestrian, now it's timed out, but that's good because it means that I'm still in the safe area, so it won't allow me. Th it won't allow me through, but it's yeah, it's not active. So the ped gates are locked now, and I I might be stuck there. So this is where we need to differentiate this laser from the laser at the pedestrian area, or and a, and a forklift truck. That's why we've got another area, just the width of the pedestrian area, so we can tell if there's anyone in the pedestrian crossing area rather than the full area going right up to the roller shutter door so it's it's sat there waiting and i can't get out at the minute i'm there and i'm broke i'm in the safe area because that area this is where it used to be so we've got to split it to this one really but i'm in the safe area i can't get out um because the ped gates are locked all right and the barriers are down so i can't get out so the idea was so that if i took too long i can't get out and also if i if somebody was to open a shutter it would have come out to the same thing and i won't be able to get out so what we need to happen is if it times out, I got to be so careful because if you, that's why we need a separate loop because if this at the minute this loop does, does the pedestrian area and it's one output it does all the way up to the door where the forklift truck could be, so I don't know I don't know from this so it's not. A, Normally, um, that if that was the if that was the forklift truck, you'd want the gates to be locked, the ped gate to be locked. You definitely want that. Um, you wouldn't want to be releasing the ped gate lock. So what I've got to do is, if I'm in ped sequence mode and I'm traversing, and I just happen to be timed out, just happen to be timed out here on the override timer we've got a duration of 59 seconds to get across the road if it doesn't happen it will automatically go back to FLT mode but if it knows that I was in ped sequence mode and I'm 
I've gone into this safe area, so it wouldn't know if I'm a paid or a forklift truck, a person or forklift truck. But for this, if I swap it over to this one, it will definitely know that I'm. If the barriers are down, there's no way you could get a forklift truck across a pedestrian walkway, which lengthwise you wouldn't get it. Um, so it's an impossibility, physical, to get the truck to be over the walkway with the barriers down so at the minute that's not an impossibility there because there's about there's enough room for the forklift truck the one side of the walkway where the barrier is and where the rapid roll door is so what i'd need to do is swap this over down to here Maybe put some sizes in of the loop so, so they know what it is. I'll have to put some info in there. Right, so I can easily swap that output for this one and feed it back into this system. But that need, they need to come down here. These inverters need to come down here. And we need to work out something with that one. We're going to change the logic. Change the logic now. Um, then also taking while doing that we've also got to work out a fallback mode now that fallback mode has got to override the system logic so <laughs> it's not going to be too easy and then if we haven't got enough already we've got to work out priority swap the priority from this button will change role from pedestrian request to forklift truck request now i'm hoping we could don't need this one i'm hoping we could just do it by rewiring the outputs and stuff I'll, i'd have to think about it off the back it sounds like you just changed the wiring but you'd have to contemplate the stuff in there that for tracking the person for extra safe for the person uh you'd still want that so yeah well that can stay i suppose that logic now the problem is if we just swap the wire in, we're going to swap the extra safe pedestrian crossing over to the forklift truck traversing through. We're not interested in the forklift truck being extra safe. It's the person safety we were interested in. So uh, we are going to have to lead the logic as it is. And this switch will have to priority forklift truck paired. Make make the contact or put a link in and um, it's going to be ped stroke forklift truck instead of FLT ped. So that logic is going to have to intercept these signals and override uh, some of the stuff. We need the timers still, but we need to satisfy the criteria that may be overridden. Like, um, for instance, the barriers being down uh, so if the if the if the barriers are out of commission and the roller shutter doors out of commission or they're holding the roller shutter door up because it's red hot it's in the summer and they want they're gonna have the door open for whatever reason or it's been smashed or broken or the booms have been knocked off and the barriers have been switched off anything like that you still got to use it as a normal pedestrian walkway so what we'd have to do instead of this switch would have to satisfy certain criteria at certain times to be able to let the rest of the system function so we have to work that out after we can see uh, what we know what we're waiting for so with this switch we'd have to activate some kind of logic with more than one output to to go and override certain parts of the system yeah so there's that so I've got three things to contemplate in one go here, yeah, but you can't look at the whole thing um, all three at once. You need to know about it, but you can't look at it all at once because you'll know the bit you've got. Even this each individual part here, these extra three items, we've got to break it down into manageable pieces, smaller pieces. So which is done by this logic here, bits of logic. Now the first thing we've got to do is swap this over with that one. 
That should be easy enough to do. Um, and then use this one for detecting only for use in the sequence uh, for the forklift truck. Right. Let's do that now. Then. Let's do that now. Right. Let's do that now. Right, here we go. Let's have a sip of this. All right, so that's easy enough to switch off. Now I can break that off there without affecting the other side of it. So now we need to bring these down. I need to get rid of this really. This bit here comes right across to there, right through. Can I alter this? No. Yeah, sort of. Uh, right, well, I'll tell you what, we could leave it there. Let's bring this down here. Oh, we could alter the wiring. No, we'll leave it, we'll bring it down here. Right, so bringing it down here, uh, we've got this in our way. Uh, that's going to upset us a little bit, so go up a bit. Right, oh, what's happened here? Oh, there it is, there it is. We need to leave that alone. Right, yeah, we can do that. I don't mind if that that wire goes underneath there. So we can attach this up to that. So that input now is doing the ped logic up here, but it will also be doing the FLT safe logic, which we don't want. So, right, so what we're going to have to do here, we're going to have to copy these two. Oh, well, let me copy it. So copy and paste. I have to put these back for the loop. Uh, I'm going to put that back there, join them back up again, and join that up to there. So we need to rename this one now and call it uh, safe. What do we call that one? Safe laser ped area safe area it's ped and fl flt laser safe area ped and flt now hang on safe laser safe laser ped and flt area now you might say what difference does it make what you call it trust me it makes a difference if you don't get this logically right you'll never be able to look at it in the future and understand what's going on okay so we've got safe laser ped area safe laser ped right it's come up with it, it doesn't like me putting an and in so uh, safe area puts PEDS plus FLT area. Well, let me do that. Yeah, let me do that. So that's a new designation for that. So what we've got to do now, we've got to find the logic that connected this up to um, the FLT sequence. And the only way I'm going to find that out is if I run a simulation right it's so, okay we're going to satisfy the criteria um, none of these have to be switched for now oh we will have to switch that one oh i put it in the wrong place stop that strike that reverse it that's we're in the wrong a place here right so we need to undo that that's the fallback mode so we need to move this out of the way because we're this is in our way a bit. I can go up there actually. Let's just put that there. Can I put it there? No. Let's put it there first. No, it won't let me go too close to anything. So let's put it up this way. Right. Just about do it. No, we can't do that. Hang on. Go back a touch. Right, so yeah, it looks horrible, isn't it? 
That's the trouble with the lines, getting the lines in. Anyway, I can see that that line goes straight through and you can't put something onto an output, but you can go from an output onto something else. So, mm. anyway, if these need to be moved up here. All right, so what's going on with that? What have I, have I just covered something up? No. Okay, I can live with that. Let's simplify that a bit. Yeah, you can spend your time toggling this stuff around. All right, anyway, let's put that back to there. So we've got our safe area, safe laser pen area, fall back, and that we're leaving. Now we've got to split the, the signals wherever they go to to the Boolean logic and the timers and the flags. And we've got to switch that over, so let's uh, let's try it again. Right, okay. Right, go back simulation in run mode. Right, let's put the stuff on. So safe area, bed gate closed. Um, this one doesn't matter at the minute. Right. So we're there and it should go back into FLT mode. What have we forgot? Oh, it's waiting for me to open the barriers. Right, open barrier one, bar barrier two, barrier one. And then it will switch into FLT mode. Yeah, it's going to FLT mode. Mag lock is shut. Both traffic lights are on green and red. That's good. Right. So we're on FLT mode and we're waiting. Let's see what changes when I walk onto the laser. Right. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> Still on the wiser. It's a pity that one's going across all there, isn't it? What happened there? Something happened there, didn't it? This one doesn't need to be there. I can't see that one now. No, I suppose, uh, I suppose we could knock that back a touch. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. You can see that that's actually where's that going all the way over to here so there's a line on top of a line here that's never good never good for confusion that is recipe for confusion right let's see if i can alter this a bit yeah managed to alter that all right so Right, so that doesn't need to come all the way around here, does it? It can go up and around. Let's see if we can get rid of it. Can we get rid of it there? No. No, possibly. Yeah, got rid of it there. Okay, so that could just go back where it was then. Right. Right now, um, so that one's yeah, just coming across there. Then this is all a mess now, isn't it? What's happened here? That just goes down there. All right, so we can no, we can't juggle them around because that'll upset this. Can't, see, I can't get to that. Can't get to it because there's stuff in the way. So you have to move stuff around. Yeah, you have to move stuff to get to it. That's okay. I can live with that. I can see where it's going. Right. 
Uh, so we've tried to move some at here, didn't we? Yeah. Let's bring that down. Can you go again? Yeah. No. Right, so this one's a bit of a... Yes, this one here's a problem. This is a... It's like watching paint dry this bit. Right. And that, that can get rid of, can't it? That one it can go to there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's fiddly stuff, but if you don't watch it, you'll end up not being able to see anything from anything else, and then you will be in a mess. Once you once you lose control of it, it's why it goes wild. You know. All right, so let's bring that down. Okay, just about. What's going on there? Right, so we've got a got a wire here. There it is. Right, I need to accommodate that wire. And it's coming through to there, so we need to get rid of that wire. What about there? Yeah. Okay, so we've got rid of it there somehow. Right, now we've got to get rid of this one. Right, this one's causing us an issue in it. Right, so move that down a bit. Um Right, can we move that down? Yeah. And move that down. That down. Right, we're in a mess now. Right, so we need to move that down. Okay. Uh, where's that going off to? Just to there. Okay, we're getting getting somewhere. Right, none of this is that he's changing the logic. Trying to make some space. Also, trying to get rid of this horrible, horrible stuff. Oh, we messed around there now. Right, okay. <laughs> I've got a bit of that going on. Right. Yeah, as long as we can see the wires going. It's not ideal, but I don't know what to do. Right. Right, so, hmm. Right, so we've transferred over, but I need to split the lasers up. Or do I? Because we do need to know. Yeah, no, we might not have to do that. We might just have to add, add it to this. As long as I know for my own use, separate from that to that one. For my logic, yeah, I could leave that as it is then. Right. Hmm. So I've labelled them up wrong, maybe. Or maybe I didn't need to move it after all. Yeah, I think I could have left that there, you know. Safe laser, because it was already safe laser in pet area, wasn't it? 
Oh, I'll try what I'll do then. Pay down and lay. Alright. Yeah, I should could have left that there. Let's swap these around a bit. Alright, let's get these down to here a minute. Put these back up there. Has that done it without causing too much grief? Yeah. Put them back where it was. Because that safe laser pair down foot. We we could leave that intact. We could We need to know about those two. So we'll leave that there and we'll just have a separate Z, Z area. A separate one just for detecting that there's a pet ped gate still in there. That's it. That's that's right. So we could leave that as it was. Yeah. All right, some of this looks weird. Uh, that could go to there, couldn't it? Yeah. Uh, anything else? There's bound to be loads that could go to. And that could go to there. Oh, hang on. This one's overlapping there. Right, now this one's doing weird stuff. Okay, we could cope with that. Right, let's save that. Okay, what else is happening? This one's weird, yeah, I think we could live with that though. Right. That can go to there. Anything else look weird? Don't like overlapping. Overlapping is not what we're after. Is there any way to align that? order oh. right anyway so we've got we got we've got what we wanted sort of yeah sort of i'm going to move that up to the was down here okay not the end of the world right that one that could just as well go to there couldn't it yeah. Right. Uh, and that one could just as well go to there. That one can just as well go to. Oh, hang on. Yeah. That could just as well go to there. Yeah. Okay, and this one, can that go anywhere? No, that can't go anywhere. Uh, what else can go to somewhere else? Yeah, there's lots, there's lots of looking at stuff, staring. Right, okay. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So we, we haven't really altered anything apart from no, we shouldn't we should be back as we were. And nothing really changed. Uh this can be moved. This can be put over here now. Like that. Just like that. That can be left there like that. That can be brought over. You go out the way. Yeah, that's okay. I could leave that there out the way. That's all right. Okay. That could be put over here and then swung round. I'll leave it there for now. Right, so that's going up there. 
that's going all the way around there. So it left us a bit of space. We we seem to have a bit of space here now for some reason. Uh, I'll leave it there though, in case we want to bring something else around here. Right. Save that. Oh, hi. Right, let's um, let's just run through the sequence, see if everything works still. Okay, so we got this one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Uh, fault with it, barriers open. Yeah, and FLT traffic in and out. No problem. Then Uh, pedestrian request, uh, barriers close, time's out, switches over to ped crossing, timer starts, so that starts in case nobody goes through or opens the gate, as soon as they open the gate, and they're into this area here. They'll also be in this area down here. So they're still counting down. So they've got so long to get through, and then they'll cancel them off. Then you into the laser safe area. So while they're in the laser safe area, um it needs to stop the timer counting down. It's only if they don't go through. But we'll need that ability uh, when we're doing it on timer only mode. So if they keep if they press another sequence, what happens? It resets the timer, carries on going, yeah. Starts over. That's good. So as long as the trail of people crossing, keep pressing the button. It'll hold off that timer. But what we don't want is the trail of people suddenly stopping as long as they press the button. But it needs to hold the timer off or stop it switching at least. So let's just pretend I'm still in the safe area, which I am now. I'll shut pedestrian gate. Safe area I'm still in, as long as it doesn't switch and lock them in. I think it will lock them in, but it won't switch the traffic light. But this is what we're trying to avoid, stuff I'm locking in till they till they've left the area. But not from the loop off the forklift, but it needs to be off this this new area. See what happens. Right. So it's counting down the timer. They're all the cat timers have counted. It's still in red, and it's waiting for this area to be clear. So and it's locked the gates, and it hasn't lifted the barriers yet. The barriers are down. So the pit sequence is cancelled off we're not in FLT sequence we're not in any sequence at the minute um, saying ped gate was traversed system right so it's saying the ped gate was re traversed and it wasn't traversed though was it so this flag needs to be there's a reset on here on this all
and then we change the operation slightly. So let's have a think. Just have a think. What's wrong with world? What's wrong with world? www. Uh, so, trying to work out how we're going to do this. We're going to change it. Do we wait for them to? Once they're once they've opened the gate, and they've gone through, and waiting for these flags, they could have gone, changed their mind. They could have gone through one gate, changed their mind, and come out of another gate. So it does need to count the sequence down. But as long as they're out of the pen area, so it won't automatically fall back if they're in the pen area. Only if nobody traverses through. Yeah, yeah, we're going somewhere now. Now at the minute, it's starting to count down. It's counting down. So how do we? So as soon as they press the, as soon as they press the ped sequence. Let's just finish that off. Uh, go back to. FLT mode. No, pet sequence active. Oh, what are we missing in? Uh, red pedestrian. All right, what are we missing? Oh, didn't finish the sequence off. It says it was traversed there. Right, so we've got pets. Hmm. Are we in a stuck state, or do we? Are we? We've tripped something in the wrong way. So, give the button a press. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, it goes back. Okay. Right, we're counting, counting down again here. So we're counting down from not when we're not going through the gate. And they're both short. In case they press it and don't go through, but as soon as Somebody opens a gate, it needs to pause the count. Or the safety area needs to pause it or cancel the count off. And that's getting its counter from this logic here. Right. So we might need to. Hmm. We need to clear the counter somehow. So if I was to wire, right, I tell you what, let's stop that a minute. Let's wire this safe area over to just see what it does this timer. Let's just push this down a bit. And again. All right, let's just go again. All right, no matter what we do, we're still getting in the way of it. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, it's awkward, this program, isn't it? That's it, let me go this time. Right, so we've got that one's in the way. Right, so we got... Right, still in the way. This is where you start expanding out too much, really. Uh, 
Okay, we could do that, I suppose. Right, now we're covering this up. So, why can't I go back up there? It can. So, we moved that down instead of that one. Okay. Still not happy with that one. That's better. Right. Okay. So we've taken that safe area straight to this. Right, let's see what this does. The uh, problem is I can't see it on the screen. I have to scroll on. About there will do it. Yeah, just about to see it. So let's uh, satisfy the operational criteria. Should change to FLT mode. Uh, it's waiting for the barriers to be opened. Switch it over. Yeah. Okay. Now we're on fifth. Hang on. Let's give it a s signal. We can't see the timer. Hang on. Oh no. Right. So we're requesting the things. They've got to come down. The timer starts. If I open the gate and I'm in the safe area loop and why is the counter not counting down? Ah, oh. yeah, that's right. Why is it not counting down? Is it because it's seeing... It's not seeing a signal. That's weird. Did I push that one together? No. It's not getting the signal here. Alright, so it's not, it's not getting the signal. So we're in... What mode are we in? Ped sequence ended. Right, so not going on. So it's not even starting the timer this time. Weird. Right, let's just make that loop better. Still not counting. Shut the gate. Open that one. Shut that one. And right. Still not counting down. So go back to normal mode. What mode are we in now? So wait, wait for these to open to go into FLT mode. Yep, in FLT mode. So request a Request a crossing, switches off, barriers close. Right, it's now counting. Right, it's counting. So if I suddenly break this area, it's still counting. And if I break this area, it's no longer counting. It's not counting down while I'm in the safe zone. But well, with the pedestrian safe zone, it stops it counting down. So as soon as I leave the safe zone, which I can't... Yeah, I can still get out at the minute. I can still get out because the gates are unlocked. So then I'll just take my time and go through the gates. Oh, it's, it's immediately gone to locked. Yeah, it's gone straight to locked. That's because it's timed out. Hmm. All right, let's just try the sequence. Normal. Am I going to switch them to? Yeah. Right, let's try the sequence again. Um, right, these are closed, so I'll give it a ped sequence. Right. 
Right, we're in fed mode. It's start. We're not counting down because we're on this one, so we need to let go of that. It starts to counting down. Right, hang on. That seems to be the opposite to what we want, isn't it? Right, so that would be the normal condition for the PEDC, the lasers. But I haven't opened the gate yet, so it's doing the wrong way around, isn't it? Let's start again. All right, let's start again. Let's just stop and start again, see what happens. So barrier closed, everything closed. This would have to be closed as well, wouldn't it? All right, so we've got a permit reset on that. Is that going to go back to FLT mode? All right, why is it not switching? Ah, we haven't opened the barriers for FLT mode. Let's open the barriers. Okay, so it switches now. So it's basically waiting for the barriers to become open or not shut. All right, and normally those output commands would activate the barriers. We don't have any barriers, so we have to do it manually. Right, what else? So we're in forklift truck mode. Um, right, so we uh, activate the door, safe area, safe laser, that's all good. Okay, we put a request in, I get a request coming up, uh, it switches the gates, barriers off, locks the gate, the gate is still locked, the gate is unlocked. Switched on to ped mode. We're not counting down. Uh, yeah, we're not counting down. So we've just walked into one laser. Then we've just broke another laser at the same time. Okay. And we are counting down. So. No, we don't want it to count down. We've got the wrong signal coming there. While we broke the laser, <clears throat> we don't like counting down. It's only if you don't go through. Yeah. Okay, so let's alter that. So it's counting down even when we don't go through. Is there a way to get rid of that over here? No. Program properties. Do I need to see that and waste my screens in real estate? Uh, display, draw window, split view, what's a split view, draw line, border, background, display, directories, display, comments, Options, transfer, mode, check the program. There's no way to turn that off, is there? Can't get rid of this this bit here. So I'm using all this real estate when I don't need to see it. Or does that disappear when I go into simulation? Let's try it. Let's have a look. Yeah, it does. Goes in and this does something. Display or hide, show or hide, the simulation time controller. Oh, okay. All right, I don't need to see that. I can't get rid of this bit. All right, fair enough. It's a hungry program for real estate. Why can't these buttons be up here so you can see some more of this? Oh well. Right. Ugh. How do 
my god, it might be time for a toilet break and a top up of my drink, probably. Alright, gonna go on a pause for a few minutes. I'll leave you with my own project interim. Alright, back in a minute. <laughs>
that's just been to the loo. <laughs> Not if you can make it get a little drink. Oh, here we go again. All right. So we did how many done? An hour and 18 minutes. And we're just trying to get our head around what we need to do. Yeah. That's all we're doing. All right. I've just seen what I can get rid of. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bit of getting rid of stuff. Can that get rid of? Can that go to there? Yeah. That one can't go anywhere else. Okay. Hmm. Right. That can be pulled down, I can't. Right, okay. Well, well oh God, we need to be fresh, wide awake for this kind of work. Right. Okay, so we need our new laser. It's the wrong way around, wasn't it? So we need... Yeah, so that needs to be inverted. Well, might not need it at all, but we'll put an inverter on it. Alright. We'll put them there to there. Okay. Well, let's try it again now. We've got it inverted. I'm not saying this will do the trick. I'm just trying it. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Right, we're too low down now, so we need to go back up again to about there. So we can see the timer running. And give it a barrier closed. Ah, it's much easier on a proper PLC. Because, um, or proper smart relay, so it, with the switches attached. As in... As in, let me show you the picture again. As in that one. Hang on. As in that, with all the switches. Yeah, once you've got all the switches, it's much easier. Um, but it just take time to keep uploading the program. Simulation's slightly quicker. Right. Oh, I just see myself on a lag. Yeah. I've just seen it. I'm just munching on some popcorn. I was sort of had out the other day. I left it out. Starting to get clutter already. Right. So I run the simulation where well, it's waiting for me to open the barriers to go into FLT mode. We're in FLT mode. Um right now this has got a permanent on it, so I should have clicked this one as well. Left that on. Okay. Now I'm going to initiate a sequence. That's it, initiate a PED sequence. It's tricking over. We've got to shut the barriers. It's tricked over. Now it's starting to count down again. Right, it's counting down in case I don't go through. That's right. So somebody's pressed it. They're playing silly buggers and they haven't opened the pedestrian gate. And um, let's just leave it and see what happens. Let it run through, see if it cancels back to FLT mode. 
I'm not going to go through. I'm not going to do anything. So it should cancel back. So it'll override if nobody goes through. But we want it to cancel the override, cancel the timer, timeout if they've started to go through the system. Let's see what happens. Right, so it's cancelled it. It's switching back to FLT mode. Is it not? No, it is tis waiting because it's given an open command for the barriers, but the barriers are still down, so I need to open them manually because we don't have a... In fact, I could just feed that through from there to there, couldn't I? Put an OR gate on it just to simulate it and take it off at the end, save me keep remembering to trigger them. So I've took the wrong one off. I've took that off instead of that one. So I've been doing it without this new feature. Right, so that should now switch to yeah, traffic light mode, Tra forklift truck load, traffic light mode. There's a traffic light going to be coming across the, the, the road. <laughs> forklift truck. Right. But off the bat, that looks okay. Now, what I need is some way, something to trigger both of these inputs, both the safe lasers to trigger it. Yeah, and I also need to, to simplify, but um, whenever these, needs a delay. So uh, the delay is only for my simulation use. In real life, I don't need the delay. So you've got anything you put in, you've got to remember to take it out. I don't really want to do that. Take take stuff out and mess around. So, um, is there any way I can give that signal over to here? Make it a temporary signal. Yeah, because those contacts there for close. So as soon as it gets a signal to open, the barriers will move off, and they take three or four seconds to open fully but it needs to trigger almost straight away, maybe half a second after these outputs. So that would have saved me having to keep triggering them and forgetting the sequence and all the rest of it. Yeah, it will help me a bit. So... Starving. Having some popcorn. All right. I've had my lunch, but yeah, I'm still, still, still hungry. Never mind. Right. So, I'll tell you what, I'm going to feed those signals over to the. Um, Let's feed them. I mean, it's nice to see if the feature, if it, if it fails. No, oh, I'll tell you what, let's keep it in. It's just, it gives me more things to remember. And I try not to remember too much stuff. Right. Ah, uh, that's everything. Just have a think. It'd be nice to, yeah, because we know that feature works. If you don't, it waits. So that's tip bit of testing's done. But I need to put a temporary link in. Let's do that. Let's put a temporary link in from here go into both of these inputs now if to do that i'll need an or gate here so right i need two or gates 
Right. But that's fed off one anyway, isn't it? I don't know. Let's just do it. All right. I'll tell you what, I'll do it, but I'll take it off screen. We'll put it down here so we know it's it's temporary. So two OR gates here. Right, so we're gonna um, feed we're gonna come off come off this one and that one. Uh, this is purely to simulate this, so we're gonna go like that into there and another one into there and somehow we need to get this off the screen like that no it's not going to be good is it uh we might have to juggle these over a bit let's juggle these over a bit Juggle them over a bit. Uh, that'll do for now, yeah. The rest can stay. So we'll... Okay. Right, we've got a problem there, because that needs to go into there. Can we juggle these over a bit more? Yeah, just about. Right, so we've juggled them over. We'll have to put that one back there. That one to there. And then we'll have to put the output up to there. And that's going to have to go like that. And this output's going to have to go up to do this one. Uh, Right, that's a little bit weird, but yeah, it's, it's okay. Let's get this up to there. Let's get rid of the block numbers. Let's save that. So basically, we're just going straight into there, but we've also got ability to come out of here. So let's do that. Now we can't come out of there. We've got to find the source of that, which is up here. I think, yeah, so we've got to come out of there, we've got to scroll down, I'm struggling to scroll, it's a bloody shit program this is really, alright, it's, the programming is, this looks like something I've made, <laughs> looks like one of my projects that I was working on, um, what a long time ago early project or one that come on you can do it i'm gonna keep going right that's it not almost i don't want that there we want that there and then we want to move that out the way now we're stuck with it. This needs to move over there. So does that. Okay, that needs to move to there. Yeah. Okay, and then we need another link. This is where you have to go all the way up here again. Silly. I have to go all the way down to here. And it's struggling to. Someone's afterthought this scroll bit was, wasn't it? Right, now to put the silly line in all the way over there. And I've got to fight it, drag it, kicking and screaming to be down here. Right. When it needs to just join with that. 
and then that can join with that one. And I've got two lines with none of them want to be in the right place. Yeah, that's done it. Turned it into one. Oh, turned it into two now. What a horrible program sometimes. Anyway. So this is all temporary. I need to take this out. So I need to put a note. Can I add a comment on this? Yeah. A these out when using a um can i take them out or leave them in no, i need to leave them in i need a way of overriding them so we need to I need some kind of switch to enable this actually it will work like that when it yeah i need to sever this link I need to sever this link where so I need somehow to switch this on and off when I when I feel like it. Is there a way of switching it on? An output. An input. Is there a switch? A cam switch. What does that do? Let's have one of them. Oh my god, what's this do? Number of program, uh, see what the cam switch is. Cam block, the cam program of cam block controls a set of eight built in cam wheels on its output, eight uh, on its eight outputs represent eight wheels. The function provides the state corresponding to the current position of the shaft wheels. Oh my god! All right, let's get rid of that. All right, so I want uh, some kind of input a push button is that the one? Oh, that's your program buttons oh i can put a one or a zero on it yeah i can do that oh i need a number numeric constant what does that do all right Cor <coughs> value of constant one or zero no that's not going to be what i want is it Basically, I need a dip switch, a one or a zero. Um, hmm. I put a one on. No, you can't alter that. Okay, so you just got to wire it. So I have a one and a zero. Right, okay. I've got a spare input. No, I don't want to be doing that. So let's put it here. Let's put a one and let's put a zero there. So I'll have a one and a zero. Let's get rid of the blocks. Blocks. Right. So I'll wire a one to enable. So these need to be enabled and disabled, depending on this. Right. Okay. So I need an AND gate. Actually, this might come in handy for when I need to ignore the barriers are up or down. So yeah, it's not, not, it's not, it's a good idea anyway. All right, let's use an AND gate. All right. So I don't need that one. I'll we'll put an AND gate on it. There we go. There's your AND gate. So I've got an AND gate going on. I might as well just scroll this down further. Right, so I've got an AND gate. Um, I could leave it there for now. Now these have got to come off again. These have got to come off, so I've got to delete them off again and start again. This is a problem when you go straight from something to something. Right. So I've got to go from here down to this over here to an AND gate. So that one comes to here. Now I've got to go to the top and fight it down again. 
Fight it down, that's as far as you can go. And bring it across. Then bring it down to here. Right, so we've got our end gate. And we've gonna need two two lots of end gates. This is where it gets compli overly complicated because um the mini on it. Let's take a call back in a second. Okay, so that was um, one of the colleagues wiring up um, some of the traffic lights onto this stuff we were making. The same project, actually, yeah. Right. Who did they get to? Oh, yeah. Right, let's get another one. Another one over here. It'll save me a step having to look after that. We know it works. We know it, um, it's waiting for its thing to shut, but it's starting to annoy me while I'm testing it. So um, what we'll do is make it so it automates that bit. Right, so it will automate that bit. Let's get rid of these block numbers. I don't want to block numbers at all. Right. So what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll put the AND over to there. Let's space this out a bit. So this wire can go up there. In fact, let's go like that. Like that. Right, let me space that out again. Um, and that can go up to there. Yeah. Um, this one can go up to there. At least we've got a spare hand. 
Oh no, and yeah, yeah, no. Spare all to trigger that if you want to. Right. Now we're in a bit of a mess now. What's going on here? Let's sort this mess out. Right, so that's better. Okay, so that's yeah, it's got a bit of a mess in it. Too tightly compact. It's not good for the eye. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, we've got a crisscrossy going on here. As long as they're the same, that's all right. Okay, that can be okay there. That can be okay there. So what we need now is to switch on the AND from here. So we can do that by taking an output up to this AND. All right, and the problem we got now is <laughs> this is a problem we got now. We're back to this squashed up bit again. So symmetry. It's all about symmetry. Chaos of the mind. We enough chaos without creating more chaos. Now we're squashed again. All right. Trying to make it logical so you can just look at it without having to. Right, so we go from there to there, that other end gate. That's better. Okay. So basically, when I don't, when the program, I don't want it to be overridden, I've got to remove this link. Well, take this, I take these two links out, I can leave the rest there. It's a shame. There must be a flip switch somewhere in here. One of these has got to be a flip switch, surely. It's an input. You either have a zero or nothing. And in what's this? Analog input. Filter discrete input. Didn't I see something somewhere like a cam switch? Cam block, uh, a mux, a trigger. A compare. No dip switch. Sure as can. I have can bus. Can. What's that? Word bit conversion. There's got to be a flippy switch somewhere. Multiplexing. Maximum value. Trigger. Up, down, preset. <coughs> Why can't they just have a, a, an internal... Toggle switch.
they're back again. So I'm talking to the uh, talking to the uh, colleague. He's um, wiring up the traffic lights. Um, apparently they're all 12 volt. <laughs> We've wired it all up to 24 volt. Made the panel up for 24 volt, and the, the traffic lights are coming at 12 for some reason. Weird. Very strange. Anyway. Right. So I'm after a dip switch. What's this logic? Why is it? Um, so um, I got an output. Right. So I need a, a switch. What are these things? Reset in it. In it. Step. Step. Reset in it. In it. Step. Well, I don't suppose you could have a switch because you'd have to tell it what state it was. All I want to do is go into here, go on or off. I don't know. I don't know if there's one for that. An input. What's this? That's a thermistor. That's, that's what they added last time. Summertime. One second. A number. A number at constant. I've tried that, but what, what does it do? So, what does this do? Let's have a look. In various special inputs are available. Button, discrete. These inputs can access the in window. It cannot be inserted into input squares of diagram sheet. There are two types of discrete constants. A 1 and a 0. Constants can be used to set the function inputs to 1 or 0. That's what I want. In simulation on monitor mode, you can force these inputs to reverse order the symbol and we pit. Right, so that might be what I want. Oh. Button type inputs. Correspond to keys but on the front. But no, that's not what we want. Oh, oh, these discrete ones. Yeah. Two discrete constants can be used to set the function. Yeah, I'm already using that one. Right, number constants and integer with a value between the constants can be used to set values to the functions non-connected inputs for example mux, compare or trigger. The value of the constant can be set in the parameters windows. The simulation of Morimo is possible to modify the constant. Right, okay, sounds like what I'm after, but let's try that one then. Right, so if I put num Let's get rid of that one. Oops. Get rid of that. So let's just get rid of that. Let's put that num there. Wire it up to... Will it let me wire it or not? Is it, uh, it going to let me wire it to there? No. No, you can't do nothing with it. Don't know what the point of that. No. That's not going to do it for us. Now let's put back. Right, let's put back that one and get rid of that one. So it looks like I'd have to change it. Right, I'll tell you what, we'll put put a zero there as well. I'll put a one down here and a, z and a, a zero ready for hooking up. And I have to put a note on it. Right, so put a note on it. Display a comment. Um, change. Right, hook. Right, remove. Wire. Remove and rewire. To... Uh, as a dip switch must be a way of doing this right so I'll leave that off a minute and let's, let's juggle it over again uh, sometimes you have to drag this stuff kicking and kicking and screaming nothing's easy I suppose there's better software for different smart relays. 
difference to people's smart relays. What's the matter with that name? Won't well, let me drag it. What? No. Is that because that's too close? Probably. Yeah. Right. So get rid of that over here. Right, so go over to space. So we have to delete them too and wire that up when we don't want it. Okay. Right. So at the minute we're on a one. So we're going to say and it's going to let these signals route through to these barrier signals. And I no longer have to keep switching them manually while I'm doing a simulation. But I can stay on that for now. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's uh, see if it works. Save it. Simulation mode. Run. Right. Let's uh, switch. I don't have to switch them now, do I? Or I might have to switch them to start with, but not while it's in sequence. Anyway, let's switch all the rest on. And safe area, right, so. Right, so their output, uh, they should have sent a signal over to these two. Oh, they have. They have. So the inputs are off, but I've got red, so we're satisfied. But, but we have not changed to FLT mode for some reason. Why not? You ask yourself. So they're red. Ah, ah, uh, oh, oh, that's an all gate. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's okay. That looks like it's doing it. But we're, so, what is the reason we're not in FLT mode? What have I done wrong here? So. It's way oh, it's waiting for them to be the other way around, that's why. Yeah, it's the other way around. Uh to, this ain't gonna work, is it? Because oh it should do. They need to be inverted. Yeah, because that's saying open and they're waiting for these to be open. But uh, they can never be open because I've got a signal on them. So what I need then is, hmm, I need the signal inverted, don't I? Again, I think. So look, so that's going in through there, and it needs to break the circuit when they're yeah the opposite way. Okay, so let's do that. Let's invert these. Right. Yeah, let's invert, put some inverters in. Right. What's happened to the wire now? Right, so it happened there. Right, anyway. Right, so we need to invert the outputs. Uh, invert the outputs. Oh my God, can you believe this? Right, invert the outputs. This might be more problematic than it's worth. Right, so let's go up to the barrier one. And barrier two. Okay. All right, let's try that. Oh, that's you know rogue position, right? Okay, let's try that. Let's see what we got now. Right, what have we got now? Let's go up and have a look. Let's put the 
things into position. So we've got a signal on and these are off, that's right. So is it counting down? Now it's waiting for this this area. Now is it counting? Oh, I haven't put it into run mode. Silly Billy. Right, so it's gonna go into FLT mode. Yeah. So we're in FLT mode and the barriers are open. Okay, uh, we'll request a sequence. Requesting a sequence, it's changing. And yeah, we've gone to close almost straight away. It wouldn't do that in normal reality. As soon as they drop off, it needs to time it to delay. So it needs a delay on and a delay off time, I don't know. Really, but it's in FLT and it's like counting down the sequence. Uh, yeah, it's counting it down. If I go, if I just can't do it, don't go through, it'll be fine. If I break the area, it will cancel off the timer and it'll start counting again as soon as I left the zone. Right, okay. That's a little bit better. Now, I need a three second delay so this can not switch straight away. It needs an on and off delay, I think. Every time it switches, yeah, because if it's, um, as soon as the barriers switch off, it takes three seconds for it to close. Yeah, but they close straight away. And then as soon as they switch on, um no when he switches on it goes off straight away or half a second right let's try a timer just to make this right right so you need a delay which one do we need with the two timer on time off time will that one do it yeah so we'll get copy that one, paste it. I'll put a timer here. All right. So the timer can come out of here, but we need two timers. Do we need two timers? Yeah. All right. Let's take that off there. Let's put that into there. Let's put another timer here. This all this is just for getting this to do simulate there being no barrier there. Right, so that needs to go up to there. Right, and this one needs to go out of there. Up to there. So we need Oh no, hang on. Yeah. No. Right. Okay. Right, well we've got a mess going on. That needs to well, that need that needs to go here. That needs to go there. Oh no, that stays where it is. That's it. Yeah. Right. Oh dear. Right man. Right. All right.
right, where do we get to? So we've got our timers hooked up. Right, so we need a... Um, when that's on, that means it's shut. So we need it... When it goes off, we need a... Delay off time, so we need a... A off delay of... Five hundred milliseconds off delay. Point one of a second. Point point five of a second. Okay, same with this one. Point five of a second off delay. Now on delay, um Inverted so it'll be the other way around, right? I think we need let's try a three second on delay. This might be the wrong way around. This might so three seconds to open. Oh, we're in this mode so 0 0.01 of a second. So that's three seconds, I think. And uh, same with this one. Um. Three zero. Okay. Don't know. Let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Oh, we've got a side click going on here. Okay. Right. Let's just uh, close the. The desk, right? Let's close this lock. Right, so is it going to filter out? We need to close. Right, so we close the bed outs area. Yeah, so we're not closing them. They're under control by this. We're in FLT mode. Let's give it a ped sequence. Here we go. Oh, hang on. we've gone over the timer. Need to keep that timer on. So they've switched off uh, three seconds. Oh, they close after a delay. Yeah, that's about right because there is a pause on them. Right. So we're in that mode. Then we don't do anything. We're counting down. Yeah, that's good. Then we go for the sequence, open the ped gate, safe area. And still counting down, that's okay. But we'll be in this area, so we'll stop the countdown. Then we'll <coughs> close the gate, open the other gate, leave the safe area, close the other gate, and leave the safe area. Now it's going to time out. Uh, that opens after half a second, so that was right. Yeah, so that's right. <coughs> so the closing bit. So they're open now. And we need to close them. So um, we request an FLT mode. And they're closing. That's right. I think we've done it right. Yeah. Yeah, we've done it right, I think. So we've we've done that. We've 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 not broke the area. Okay, so we've got it's working in in a fashion. It's working. All right. So we've managed to stop stop having to control the the barrier input and the switchable. So what we'll do is we'll switch it off. We'll make sure we can switch it off. So what we've got to do now is break the wire from here. This is silly. But it's quicker than trying to put this back and, you know, it's 
quicker than trying to rewire all this like every time from nothing. Right. So let's try again. This should be normal mode now. Where you need to six percent adopt frames, right? Okay. Yeah, we've got zero, no point zero no zero percent. Zero percent drop frames, but we've got eighty eight frames dropped out of two hours and ten minutes of video, so it's not too bad, and thirty frames a second. So about two seconds worth of drop frames. Oh well. Right, so we're on a simulation mode. Now this should work okay. As um, should it totally, we'd have to operate the barriers from this mode. So let's put it into sequence. All right, is that going to do it? It's going to wait for the barrier, so it should just sit there now indefinitely. Uh, oh no, they lit up, so yeah, we're not getting anything through. Yeah, we, it's waiting for us to cut. Actually, it's, yeah, it's waiting for us to do that, I think. Yeah, that's right. It's waiting for us to close the barrier. Oh no, that's the other way around, isn't it? Surely. Oh, we've inverted the signals, haven't we? Yeah, this is... <clears throat> it's not quite right, because we need, need to do this after this inverted input, not before. Oh yeah, I could spend hours just doing that. Crikey. Yeah, so, <clears throat> to get these signals back, they're going through here, and they're getting inverted. Now, so what we need is we need the signal after the inverted bit. So let's start again. Right, let's start again. Let's lose the lose the output. Lose the output. Uh, that input needs to come off there. So does that one. These inputs need to go through the inverter because these are signal conditioning as well. I've got no real signal there. All right, so they go through there. And it does work because I've had it on a... I've had it on a simulator, right. Okay, so these outputs are... No, I didn't want to do it off these outputs, did I? Now these outputs are a problem. Unless I intercept it from there. Because if I intercept it from there, I've got to unwire all the stuff that's and find out what I've lost. I'm never going to find it. But I can do it from there. So will that help us any? It's inverted it once. I don't know. Normally I have to do it twice. Let's just try it. And try it, can try it from there. I think that's why I put two inverters on it so I can connect up stuff. I can't remember now, it's been a few years since I did one last. Right, so that output will go up to there. There, I think, out of the way. Right, that one will go up to there. Um, let's put that there and that one there. Right, okay, can cope with that just about. Now these need to go down to there. They need to go to there. Right, and this one needs to go to there. Uh, 
Okay, so we could do that as long as we do that. Do that. And perhaps bring that to there. Yeah, we can do that. We could even do uh, that and that. Right, okay. Uh, we might have the wrong signals now. Let's try it. We might not need this inverter. Let's just try it. So it thinks they're short, which they are because of that. Um, oh, let's shut these. All right, so it thinks they're shut already, so they're not. They weren't shut till this output was on. Oh no, because I got it in manual override, so I need to switch it over. Which just switches them off. So I need to switch them off. Which is saying they're on. So it's that inverter's in the way, isn't it? Right, so we lose the inverter. Lose the inverter. Okay. Try again. Right, save. So we've got another five minutes to go. As I uh, knock off shift at five o'clock, 1700 in the UK. And then I'll do uh, for today. I'm back on again tomorrow. Got to get this finished. Right, let's just uh, go through simulation. Right, so uh, I'd have to just shut the barriers myself for the safe laser. So they're on. Um, yeah. And it's transferred over because I have shut. They've opened and I'm okay. So then I give initiate a ped call. And it should time out and switch over to head and i would have to manually stays as it is yeah i'd have to manually shut these two for it to oh it's actually switched over and it's counting yeah that's right okay now i might have an inverter timers the wrong way around oh this timers on delay on delay off around the wrong way around So we're in ped sequence, it's counting down. Okay, so we um, open a barrier, um, get into the safe area. Oh, did it beat me? Oh no, I just cancelled it out. Right, so. Oh, I've opened barrier, so I was opened the wrong one. My bad. I didn't even say my bad because I've juggled all this around now. Right, let's get try and get back to a s sequence. Right, is it going to switch me over? Yeah, it switched me over. Um, these are under my control, so they'll be broken. Oh, what's happened there? Yeah, I'll be broken and gone to red. Why is that? Yeah, hmm. Right, I don't know what's happened there. Lost track of it. Let's try it again. Right, request a sequence. They'll be closed now because there's no output on these. And I'll request a sequence. Uh, 
All right, so it's gone over to that. It's unlocked the gate. I'm able. The count is going down, is it? Yeah, counting. We'll go through a ped gate. Uh, we're going to the safe area and break this area. Cancel that timer off. We're still on green. We'll uh, shut one ped gate, open another, and then uh, leave the safe area. And is it counting? Oh, shut the last ped gate. Let's cancel the timer off. It's going back to FLT mode with a bit of luck. Uh, apart from I'm in manual and I haven't opened the two barriers. Here we go. Let's count them down. Right, there it is. Switched over. So I think what happened, I got a th a th the wrong times around the wrong way. Let's just try something. Go down here and swap these delay times round. So we want five up here and 30 down here. And five up here and 30 down here. All right, so that's five is 500 milliseconds, 30 is three seconds. All right, let's make sure we can see the Oh, we can see it. Make sure we can still see the numbers. I think it's there, isn't it? Or is it that one? I can't remember. Right, save it. Run it. Right, how long we got left? We're running over time now. Should have knocked off, but uh, we'll keep going for a bit longer. Right, so we've satisfied all that. Should switch into FLT mode. Yes, we have. Uh, so we'll request a passage. It's still in FLT mode, switched off. There, done like that. We've got to close these manually. Takes a few seconds to close, which it did. And then it's on, yeah, we're straight into that mode and we're timing out. Then we traverse the gate into the safe areas and shut the gate and open the other gate and come out of the safe areas and shut the last gate. And it should shut off the sequence and go back to FLT mode but it's waiting for me to manually re open the gate, open the barriers right, what it has done right, okay so what I need to do now is put the auto back on again so we now we can turn it off and that's a good thing, right? So I need to just rewire this. I don't know any other way of doing it. Uh, 201. Okay, save it. All right, let's get see so we can see the timer and simulate it. Now this should make it easier for me to control the simulation without having to monitor and do whatever the opposite is of these is. So I shouldn't have to do anything with the barriers any longer. Okay. Okay. So we're in FLT mode. We're going to request a crossing now these two should be taken care of by the timers so what are we waiting for what have I done wrong here just waiting for something 
pet sequence is active. It's waiting for the barriers to close. Uh, right, they're not closing. Why not? What have I done wrong? I've got a signal there and a signal output on. Ah, I know what we've done. Do you know, we, we need the inverter this side. That's what we need. We moved the inverter from there altogether, but because we're coming in without this inverter, we need to invert this output before it goes into that one. Right, we'll do that. Let's do that. Let's put the inverter back there. We need to carry that part of the circuit on. So that needs to go up here. And this one. What's that doing there? Can't you sort that out? Can't even put that in the right place. Can it? This software. I bet the bloke who wrote this software, he wrote it just for something to do, and they're using it on a commercial thing they probably bought it off him and and the guy, poor guy is getting slated for his software and he said it was only a, a side project they gave him a week to do or something silly yeah so anyway right let's get back with this say that so this should now do the right thing do the right thing right Try it. I'm already running over at the minute. Five minutes over. Oh well. Right. So we're on here and we're going to close the gate, ped gates, leave the safe area and the FLT door. And uh, we should automatically go into. Doesn't look like we are going to go into it. Anything. What's what's missing? What have we done wrong? All right, so okay, so we inverted the wrong way. So where the barriers are up, but it's saying they're down. It's waiting for those signals. So hmm, what have we done wrong in? So we had partially working. Maybe we need to invert the signal down here. Yeah. Because we're coming, we're coming out. We wanted that signal, but we can't get to it. Or can we? Maybe we can. So we're, we're, we're stuck in, we're lim unless we haven't, have we done anything? We didn't go into FLT mode, did we? Now, will it let us go into this mode? It will, but its barriers are down. Yeah, so we're counting down. Open the gate, open the safe area. Close the gate, open the other gate. Leave the safe area and close the last gate. Is it going to time out? Is it going to wait again? It is, isn't it? Yeah, they're on, but these are still on. They're not timing out. Not doing anything these timers. But they've already timed out and they're on. They inverted to and off, so that's no good. Whatever I did there, that wasn't what we wanted. So let's undo that. Cancel link. Uh oh. I've lost myself in the cancel now. Redo link. 
Radio link. Radio clear. Right. Radio cancel clear. Right, so we're back on here. Now we add the inverter there. Well, I think. Don't know. It's getting too monotonous now. So that signal, once we're in operation, that comes through here. And it needs to go through unfettered without an inverter up to there. Yeah. And then this one the same. But it has to join back up there. So we don't need an inverter. We can't have an inverter on it. So why did we put an inverter in? We felt the need. Anyway, let's just do a simulation again. See where we got to. We've got to leave it in a state where... I've got to leave it in a, in a state where um, we can finish off one problem. Can't stop a problem overnight. Mid flow. Doesn't work that way. Right, is this going to go out? Should it go count over to FLT mode? Yeah. So FLT mode is good. Uh, we re put a request in. Request to go across the road. It's uh, barriers are shut. No, they're not shut, are they? They're not shut. It's not doing anything. What's it waiting for? Headgate locked. We've requested FLT mode. It's waiting for the barriers to be shut. Now I can shut them manually. Right, so I've shut them manually and it's worked. But I'm aren't I in override mode? Right, so that's worked, but I should be override. Uh, the override was to stop me having to override it. Right, I don't know what's going on there. It's gone through a bit of a devil. Turn into the devil. <laughs> yeah, it's turning to the devil. Hang on. So we've got a one on there, and we've got uh, nothing coming out of this bit into here. Right, even though they're on, so we turn it off. So we've got one coming out of there. Right. So we're doing the wrong thing somewhere. Right. Hmm. Anyway, that's going to about do it for tonight. Unless I have a quick look. Right, let's try it. While i got my head around it, let's just have a, look, have a quick look. So the barriers, they're off, off. We've got a off condition here. We're on because we've inverted it, so we're off. We're coming down to here. Yeah, so I don't need that, do I? No. Got an all. No, I don't need to do it from where I'm doing it from. Right, let's take it back a bit then. Let's take it off this one. Off that one. Take that off there. And off there. Put that to there, and that one to there. All right. So I've got that going on there, that's okay. Now we've got to get back into there somehow. Now do we go straight out of there? I suppose so. I don't know, we seem to be backtracking. 
I seem to be backtracking, don't we? Let's put it back as it like this. For some reason we seem to be backtracking. Going back over the same ground here. But can't be sure, so we'll go with it. Uh hang on. So when we're really doing it, we don't want a timer. So this timer needs to do it. Yeah, it needs to go straight to it when it's on. Yeah. That needs to go straight to it. And the the all one, so right, saves me having to do it. But then the all will trigger this. So my hand isn't actually doing anything, is it? So you want the ore to go straight up to there, but it needs to do it off a timer to simulate a barrier. Yeah. So I need to. So I've got an ore. That output needs to go here, doesn't it? Right, let's cancel this off. Yeah, so that's right. So that needs to go up to there. Right, that needs to go to there. Let's move this out of the way a minute. That one. And this one. And this one needs to go up to there. Where is it? Okay, so that needs to go up to that one. Right. Now these timers need to come in at the back of this. Yeah. I need to turn it off there. I put the timers on the wrong bit. I should have put them on the ends. That's my problem, yeah. I didn't go didn't scroll down enough. Right, so they need to go on the end and go into the ore. Right, so that needs to go over to here. Yeah, if you've never watched this kind of stuff before, you'll I think you'll you'll think oh, I'm glad I don't do that. Well, normally I don't do this. It's uh, at once every couple of three years. Once every few years. Right, so you've got the ANDs coming in, so if that signal's on there and you get the signal from here, then it lets it through to the OR, that's it, that's what we want. That's what we want. Now these timers, I've swapped them around, in my. Let me just see, so we're going to get that coming in, it's going to come through to here and straight to here, feeding it through to there, so I've made itself a cut off. Uh, and now we want to do a delay. Once we get that on, we want to delay before five. It needs to be half a second delay when it gets an on signal, because it takes half a second for the barrier to start to open from again the signal. So that's right. An on delay. Then we want when it gets an off signal, it needs to have an off delay of. Hang on, is this what I want? Does does it count dark? Got it, it works now. Let's try it. Right, th three second off delay. Or is that just gonna I'm not sure which way around it gives you the delay. Might not be the right way around. Let's try it. In fact, let's let's watch the timers. Forget the forget the rest. Watch the timers and see what we get. Right, so we've got nothing at the minute. Let's um, get the system running. Right, let's see what we get down here now. 
Right, so we um, we they came on straight away, did they? Don't know. It could have been half a second. Doesn't tell you which one it it ran off. So let's give it a request. Uh, it hasn't it hasn't shut? They're open, so they they should be open. But I'm getting an open signal here, which is not good. And what's the reason for that? So. The reason for that is uh, I've got an all situation going on here. Right. So one or the other's gone through. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so it sent it through. So it does need to be inverted. Crikes, crikey, I don't know. <laughs> Love to make you insane, isn't it? Hang on. So I've got the opposite signal. Right, so let's put an inverter on. Maybe we did need an inverter, just got it in the wrong place. So let's um get rid of that one. Get rid of that one, invert it. Uh, I can just invert it from here for now. Invert it, invert it. That goes up to this one. This one goes up to this one. Okay, no, not quite okay. Alright. Uh, okay. Get rid of the block numbers. Save it. Let's see what we got now going on. This will be the last one for tonight, I think. What we got? Two hours, 42 minutes. Still 88 drop frames. Right, let's start it off. Right, let's get these on here and that one. See what's happening here. All right, so what have we got going on here? Oh, we've got a green traffic light this time. We've got output there, barrier commands are open, outputting, and we've got no signals on the close limit, which is what we'd expect right and our AND gates are sending through this signal okay let's try a sequence request a crossing so they've just dropped out and they're timing out the barriers are closing yeah so it did actually give you a delay a simulated closing delay Right, might be what we want. If that's good, I can stop for tonight, but let's just double check. Right, so green traffic light, pedestrians are going through. We've got the timer going through down here. The If you don't go through, once you've pushed the button, it time out. Now, it should stop the timer once you've gone through into the safe areas. Stop the timer. You carry on going through. You... Um, shut the gate, open another gate, leave the safe areas, and shut the final gate. I noticed that was started counting down before I shut the final gate, but we're not doing the, we're only holding it off if we're in the safe area. Because the gate, mm, I don't know if we need to go that far or not. So we're back on FLT mode. Let's try one more time. Requesting a peg crossing. Switch that off. Um, the barriers are shut under a delay. We're counting down. We're on FL. We're on pedestrian mode. We won't go through. Well, let's just go through anyway. Right. Let's just go through. Uh, 
Okay, should go back to normal. Right, okay. So this is this has turned out quite well actually because it's um because we said we were gonna do <clears throat> sorry, we got said we we're gonna do a safe laser ped area. And we said we were gonna have a fallback mode where it would ignore the barriers. Now is it ignoring it or is it Yeah, it is actually it's simulating it's the simulation is ignoring the barriers we also need to simulate do a similar thing with the flt door yeah in case they go out of commission they want to be left up the system needs to be working so i'd say that was a partial success so seem to have cleared well they got some other way there Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Might might come on on my own project later on on another stream. I've got some uh, progress on that anyway. Keep it separate. That's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again on the next one. Bye bye. See you in a bit.